Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I have streamlined this bad boy a little bit, but it's pretty much the same as it was before for the most part. But I, I kind of streamlined it because I want some more draws. And I also want some energy removal cards of additions like, yeah, the side blast here. And the reason why is for the next sort of duelist going on here. Yeah, I got four of these bad boys now. Uh, because the next duelist has a rule and a deck that will probably be the most difficult s setup so far. Even more difficult than Trainer Girl over there, but not because of no Trainer Card Girl there, but because there's a lot, a lot of energy removal cards in her deck. <laughs> So, we've arrived then. Before we start our battle, allow me to summon the Forge's special guest. It's a young man my members happen to kidnap. He'll be here shortly. Couple button presses, little teleportation. Hey, it's Rod! Is it as you have predicted? Has meant. I can't say for certain. We can only get confirmation by watching the future unfold. Well, I'm ready for our battle mint. So, you can take a look-see around the room, see what it's like and whatnot, but, well, but, well, there's not much to explore, so let's talk to Rod! <laughs> Just focus on winning your battle with Claire right now. I've been monitoring the way you duel with hidden cameras down below. Wait, you're not using psychic powers? Interesting. I'm fairly certain you do not have the capacity to, f to defeat me in battle. It is a whole different experience when you battle against me. Normally you would discard a KO Pokemon and its energy cards. Under my rules, the discarded basic energy cards return to the hand. So, do you understand my terms? Let's see what she gets different dialogue, I guess, asking for the rules again. When a Pokemon is knocked out, it's placed in the discard pile. However, all basic energy cards attached to it will return to your hand. You understand my simple basic rule? Nah, I guess, yeah. It's, it's about the same, just reworded. And I suppose you'll be challenging me to a duel next. No. There's, there's nothing forcing you to have a card battle with me. And again, if you plan on getting the GR Castle, you'll have to. Have you come to challenge me to a card battle? Do you remember my rules? Please, no, no, no. If you don't, <laughs> I've tortured you enough with dialogue. If you don't need to hear the rules, shall we begin our card battle? We'll use six prize cards. She's got the mysterious uh, disappearance deck, and as I said, expect a lot of energy removals. In fact, she even uses item finder to bring the energy removals back to her hands. So, your best strategy is probably to use Pokemon that can attack with you know, like one energy card a lot of the time, or a Pokemon that kind of pop the energy cards directly to your hand and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, I am going to probably lead with Abra, because I got a lot of them, and I can set up the big ones for the future. Let's -a go. I go second though. Bah! <laughs> oh, that's not good for my opening draw. I cannot do any sort of attacks. Well, I mean, I can do paralysis, I guess, but that's not really... Yeah. It's not gonna do any damage. It's more of a stall feature more than anything. Alright, so let's see what she's got anyway. Fetch can I mean, yeah, yeah, she's got that. This version of Ghastly, Jungle, Mr. Mime with the Invisible Wall, and the Slowpoke. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll save my energy removal then and just... Go ahead and Psy Shock. Because it's gonna be a while before she can Kangaskhan it up anyway, if she actually plans on doing so, so... Uh, we'll see what she does for now, and... Go put the flow, basically. And yeah, Professor Oak is going... That, that, that could be bad. <laughs> no build to. Yeah, she's even got the draw cards, so... I don't find there for... Bill, even extra draw power. So yeah, she's not energy removing anything just yet. Lightly garbage run for a bunch of psychic energy. So she's making sure that oh no, she's making sure she's all powered up with all sorts of disruptive stuff. As I said, her deck is pretty dang good, and the AI plays it pretty well too. So we're gonna have to. 
put a lot of focus into this duel. Like, no... No shenanigans of getting complacent or overconfident or anything like that. She can mop the floor with you. <laughs> so I'm gonna be playing with full concentration, hopefully. And I also could use some water Pokémon, but... Um... Yeah, for now I can't really do much of anything, but I, other than just continue to cause paralysis. It's kind of a awkward opening spot, but I, it's kind of weird that I don't have any basic Pokémon based on the way you've seen I rebalance it, and yeah. Eh, well, we shall see. You can keep on fetching. Maybe I can run you out of cards. That, that could be a different winning strategy. Um... Do I want to put this? Maybe. I probably do. Because <laughs> I was thinking if I'm going to fill up the bench, but chances are she's going to knock out Abra before I, uh, I'm actually able to fill up the bench with stuff that I can't actually use. But the thing about it is that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of anticipating that she's going to knock out Abra and I'm going to attack with other critters. So I'm going to attach that to that Mewtwo and continue Psy Shocking. And that's a no-go, so she's gonna draw another card, or maybe she's gonna switch or something, I don't know. <laughs> I just know she's waiting to suck up my energy like crazy. <laughs> and, and I got the water jinx. That might be that might be handy. I plopped that jinx in there again because I have a little energy balance dealio as such, but mm, and, well, I mean, I could use it now, basically, since they're not just using psychic energy and whatnot, but anyway. <laughs> uh, no paralysis. She's going, she's going for the power-up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! No, Uh-oh! Uh -uh! <laughs> sucking up the Mewtwo. And fetching. Yeah, I told you! I told you you're not going to see those energy cards again! No, you're not going to actually use that. Um, hmm. I wonder if I should, hmm, I don't know. I'll just continue Psy Shocking. I'm in an awkward spot. I was thinking if I should energy removal her Haunter, but I think we're okay for now. So, we're just gonna flip-flop along and see what the cards hold for us. <laughs> Nothing. That's good for me. There's a seal. Okay. Alright. <laughs> um, I still think I should Psy Shock, though, for now. But yeah. Alright. No paralysis. And next turn. This is this is feels like it's going nowhere, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, I have my own energy removal cards coming too. Keep that in mind. So, uh, it's I'm gonna go set that up for a future dugong and side shock. Yeah, like I I only got the one energy removal card, but I got four others in my deck <laughs> of three of the regular, one of the supers. So. We're kind of kind of on even ground in that regard, but yeah, this is this is kind of a boring battle. <laughs> uh, yeah, side shock on heads. <laughs> She's eventually gonna go for the comet punch, I think, and then. But I have the the Mewtwo with the uh, energy of reabsorption from the grave and stuff like that. So yeah, that's it's gonna be kind of the kind of this. The anti-strategy that I've got <laughs> that I got set up here. Uh, so Comet Punch did the 60s, and I will put out the Mewtwo E's. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Which Mewtwo was it? Uh, wait. Uh, uh, no, that wasn't the. Oh, I don't have the Energy Absorber. I thought this was the one. <laughs> well, I'll use that one as a stall then. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna do that to that. Just to kind of burn a turn of hers, and I guess plop that on Mewtwo and call it a turn. Yeah, I'm kind of a... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, as I said, she's she's got the stuff. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, though, what's the retreat cost for Mewtwo? Hmm. Yeah, probably not worth the... Uh... Yeah, I really want to attack with some water critters, but it's not looking like I'll be able to anytime soon. <laughs> but at least my energy removal seems to... Oh, never mind. I was going to say seems to have worked. 
and her nightly garbage run has... Uh, oh, she's not actually attaching... Interesting. I was going to say, she's not actu actually attaching energy cards. Alright, could I get a Professor Oak or something here? That would be lovely. I'm mean, kind, of, kind of burning down the cards. Uh, should probably, yeah, continue stalling out the Kangaskhan. And power up the seal. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Um, I can also use other Mewtwo, assuming I can power it up to uh, ignore weakness and resistance with the, yeah, with the attack. But Oh, there's that Mewtwo that I was looking for with the energy absorption. Because the energy absorption Mewtwo will be uh, quite a throw-off, so to speak, of her strategy. Because she, as she discards my energy, I just kind of put them back on Mewtwo. And that was pretty unlucky on her part, but I will take it. I mean, nothing's really going on in general, but... <laughs> um... Yeah... We're done. <laughs> it's like... like it's, well, we just got a stall! And <laughs> and I think she realizes that her... Kangaskhan is the best choice because of the psychic resistance. So that's why she's kind of focusing on the combat punches, but... She's getting really unlucky on the coin flips. Alright, so this Mewtwo is going to get the energy absorption soon enough, and computer search for whatever she wants. It could be anything. It could be anything. <laughs> and Gomet Punch. And oh yeah, I should show you Dark Gengar really quick too, because I don't think I showed Dark Gengar before. Uh, wow, terribly, terribly unlucky coin flips. Uh, yeah, I just might end up winning by <laughs> running her out of cards because of this stuff. Whoops. Uh, so yeah, Dark Gengar. You may have all damage counters shuffled around randomly and shuffle a random bench Pokemon and all cards attached to the deck. So it doesn't really attack directly, but yet it... it yeah, it's weird. <laughs> um, Alright, so now I got a Professor Oak. But you do something. <laughs> So let's go! <laughs> I have successfully been stalling up to this point, so... Um... Alright. Seal's there. Another Professor Oak is a-coming, so... Yeah, we're, I got a lot... I mean, I got bunches of water energy just hanging out at the bottom of my deck for whatever reason. <laughs> just needs one more head full of... Yeah, that's, that's what I figured. And... That would be a KO off. Finally. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go over to Seal. And now I'm thinking of I should Professor Oak. And I should also put that on Seal just to kinda make sure energy removal will not be a factor. <laughs> or at least that not that much of a factor. And then kinda cycle the stuff. Really? I still won't have a dugong. Alright, so we're gonna go. I guess we'll trade the star me. And wow, all the way at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Thank you, Pokemon Trader, though. I I very much appreciate it. <laughs> and I, you know, I how many how many cards do we have actually? Um oops, I'm gonna go select. Yeah. So you can use this to check the play field. So we got <laughs> 15 cards in the deck. Uh, I don't know if I want to use another Professor Oak then. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll probably draw the rest of the energy removal cards as I go. But yeah, I'm thinking what I should do right now is just Aurora Beam. I, I was thinking of Ice Beam because of the chance of paralysis, but I really wanted the energy removal off the Professor Oak because of the. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Because, yeah, I wanted to stop the Comet Punch, basically, but well, she's been kind of un having unluckiness with the coin flips anyway, so she's probably only going to do up to 40, yeah. So I'll have Kangaskhan knocked out before that, and then we should be okay. Dark Gengar is kind of not much of a threat. That Mr. Mime, though, might be. <laughs> um, so you should probably get something else set up here. I'm gonna go set up a Jigglypuff for that Mr. Mime. And 
Yeah, call that a turn. I know, I, I know, I might, she might knock out with Comet Punch, but oh shoot. <laughs> but I was thinking that, like, I gotta think of the future here rather than just knocking out the Kangaskhan, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll be okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go Jigglypuff. And, and as I say, energy removal would be pretty nice, but still no. But yeah, I'm gonna go for the Pound. This is, the at least the idea of this is to. Uh, prevent damage from the incoming Mr. Oh, really? Mr. Mime. And I guess she really wants to save that Kangaskhan. And just gonna <laughs> do a little switchy switchy with the uh, afternoon nap. Yeah, you can attach it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is kind of like a, a do nothing game so far. <laughs> it really feels like it. Alright, so. I wonder if I should go for. The Mewtwo, I mean, like, yeah, you know, go for the Mewtwo and, you know, I'll just pwn. That Slowpoke can't really do much, so I'll just do that for now and see what comes out of it. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're just, just, we're just gonna end up drawing out her entire deck. <laughs> She's got three cards left. Oh, three cards left, three prize cards. Yeah, no matter what, she's gonna lose. Because, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna do this to Kangaskhan and Pound because yeah, she's got to draw a card at the beginning of your turn. Then, <laughs> oh, jeez, <laughs> I don't know how this turned into a stall match, but because she's gonna suck the energy out of Jigglypuff and then do nothing with Slowpoke. I mean, I guess yeah, you could pull another energy card out of that, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're gonna do with that. <laughs> I'll get a star me going. And done. <laughs> yeah, not only, as you can see, she'd be able to attack a lot, but due to this sort of odd stall match that's happening, I wonder if she, what she did earlier was discarded like, key cards with Professor Oak or something like that. She should have been able to mop the floor with me. <laughs> Probably. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just end off the turn, because, yeah, I'll just take her out of cards. <laughs> Hey, energy removal! Game late in the game there. I don't know why I'm even bothering to use it. <laughs> Just using it on whatever. Okay! <laughs> that was some duel! You're good at fighting so well under my own terms. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know, the rock is trap. Let's see what we get here. Alright. Yeah, mission once some more out of Kuno. Yeah, we've got to have all the cards in this in this pack by now. I'll admit, you are far more adept than I had assumed. <laughs> yes, I, I noticed you were running yourself out of cards, and I went with it because I kind of had no other choice based on how our draws were. <laughs> and I get GR Psychic Coin to boot. Woo! Happy days. And that gets plopped into my inventory. I probably should switch coins. That's a GR Psychic Coin, a prize that is acquired at the GR Castle. The other necessity for entry lies in the colorless, alt <coughs> colorless altar. It seems the child is just as you said, tough and enjoys dueling. I see now why you had no worries waiting here for Mint. Then, on your promise. Ha! You're free to do as you wish. Mint? I'm Grandmaster Rod. I was waiting for you to win your way here. It is my belief that only you hold the power to defeat Team GR. I don't think it's wrong to use Team GR's cards. However, th taking others' cards away from them is a different story. I'm certain you understand best, after all, of your fights so far. Go find the GR King, Villasini. Find him and defeat him. I don't mean to sound demanding, but you're the only one who can do it. Why am I always the only one in these games? I swear! I sincerely hope that this card will help you on your journey. Behold Movie Dragonite! Probably the best version of Dragonite. For one thing, it's got special delivery. You may draw a card, but you'll, sh you'll shift the card from your hand and put it on top of your deck. So it's kind of like your graceful charity to make your hand stronger. And then Supersonic Flights for 50% of the chance. It'll do nothing, but it's that Pokemon power that you'll probably want to use 
for cards that you don't have any use for right now, just get something that you may have use for. I'm going to go return to the Pokemon Dome. Once there, we'll begin preparations for the final cup. The winner of that cup earns the legendary Pokemon cards. Ooh, rebuilding my collection. <laughs> I hope you'll visit once so you have everything ready to go. Then we'll see for sure if you have more power than the Grandmasters. Woo! I will remain here in case you would like another battle. I enjoy having another pleasant battle against you, if you like. My battle conditions remain unchanged. Any time a Pokemon to place your discard pile, blah, 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 same thing. No. Well, I'll be here if you ever fancy having another card battle with me. Alright. So that is a win if I ever saw one. Somehow! And <laughs> we're gonna go over to GR Castle just to kind of show you around here. Uh, you'll need the GR Colorless coin to continue onward. We earn the GR Colorless coin from the GR Colorless Altar. Close tightly. Close tightly. <laughs> if you have the GR Psychic coin, please give it to me. No. You may not enter if you do not present the GR. <laughs> present the GR Psychic coin to me. Ah, yes. This is indeed the required coin. And it's in! I have placed the GR Psychic coin inside the door's recess. Oh, come on! <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna switch coins. And yeah, you can't even check your coin, but <laughs> I see another plot hole there. I see another plot hole there. Alright, colorless altar. Hmm. Certainly looks colorless ish with the black background, but anyway. Hmm. It certainly looks a little, a little on the spooky side, but we're going in. Hmm. Hmm, there appears to be a witch ritual going on, should we be interrupting this? So, you have come, Mint. We three are the clerics. Avery, your attention, please! Ah? We three are the clerics who protect the colorless altar. If your goal is to enter GR Castle, you must fight all three of us. Only by attaining our approval will you earn the GR colorless coin. We three each require specific cards to be in your deck when challenging. Of course! Well, that's all you need to know. Come ye and fight us. So you can take a look-see around here. You can't actually look around more to the left side there, but it's just a wall anyway, as you can see by that. Yeah, these two are kind of blocking their way. I don't think I can battle this first person right now, because I think I need four double colorless energy, but you wish to fight against me, Seth of Team GR's Colorless Ulta. Currently, create a deck containing f oh, so it's okay. You aren't the one I'm thinking of. Create a deck containing four Pidgey cards. Then, if you complete that requirement, you shall have your card battle. Fail to do so, however, and I'll refuse your request. If you fulfill like a criterion, let us begin the fight. Yes. Excuse me, I said Pidgey. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't see four of them in your deck, so I won't fight you. Come back and challenge me once you've got these cards in your deck. If you don't have enough to require these cards, here's a hint. Open your card album and try to find it among all the series. I showed this before um, when I had difficulties with a Pikachu. <laughs> Make a note of the booster pack series the card is available in, and find an opponent who awards that booster series as prizes. Alternatively, you can also receive the cards you need from a friend. But anyway, I'm gonna go and I guess swap out the Jigglies. Uh, oh, I don't. Oh, I don't have enough Pidgey. Oh, hmm. Maybe I'll have to get some critters a little bit later on. Okay, well, are you the one that requires double colorless? I'm Alan of Team GR's Colorless Altar. I, I mean, I, Alan of Team GR's Colorless Altar, challenge you to a card duel. It's very important. I say that correctly. <laughs> Mysterious fossil cards. Use them, and I'll fight you. But if your deck doesn't have four of them, I'll refuse the challenge. So, what say you? Does your deck have mysterious fossil cards? If you do, let us begin this decisive battle. <laughs> Stop right there, you can't deceive Alan. No siree! It's quite clear that you don't have four mysterious fossil cards. Well, I do, but they're not in my deck. I'll have to decline your challenge until you fulfill my requirements. So, I think... Oh, actually, come to think of it, I, th I think all these have random requirements. Now that I think about it, so... Yeah, it's, it was double colorless energy last time for one of them, but not this time. But anyway, so Mysterious Fossil is gonna be a thing <laughs> I'm gonna have to have to deal with here. But anyway, I'm gonna actually I should probably think about this here. Oh, I only have three of those! Man! 
Man, can I battle you? Oh, battle with me? Let me consult GR number two! Yeah, you got it! That was me in disguise! <laughs> That's why I did that voice earlier. Woo! I'm done being GR number two, though. Would you like to fight me as Avery? I have special deck requirements to prevent me from losing. <laughs> prevent me from losing, though. I want your deck to include four dark Pokemon cards. That I can do. <laughs> it's the only way I'll agree to have a card battle with you. Yes, it's pointless for you to try and trick me. I know what to look for. I have my eye open for four dark Pokemon cards. I can see your deck is still lacking dark Pokemon cards. So yeah, since I gotta battle all three of these anyway, you know, it's just a thing of that. I I would have to. Uh, it doesn't matter which order that I battle them in, basically. Um, what I should probably do is... Wait, actually, no, I'm gonna do seals, actually. I'm gonna go... <laughs> go with the seals, like so, as I said, and then we're gonna go with <laughs> a Magikarp Gyarados combo, because we have so many Gyarados! <laughs> So, so many Gyarados. Actually, wait a second. So I, need, I should probably suck out two other waters. E can I do that? Maybe I can't with the card balance. Uh, how about I go and wipe out the Mewtwo's? Because they aren't going to be that useful here anyway, because, you know, colorless Pokemon. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I want to make any changes to this. I definitely want to make changes to the energy, though. We're gonna go like that. Alright, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna duel. Hey there! Have you put the four cards that are crusted in your deck yet? You do remember them, right? Four Dark Pokemon cards? Okie dokie! You've got everything I call for. Time to unleash your six prize cards. Let's begin! So he's like the big boss of the four here, but. We kind of don't have the other cards to battle them with, so... <laughs> I'll, I'll just get him off camera or something like that. But yeah, that... <laughs> this guy is something else even without his disguise. <laughs> Pika Pika indeed! Alright, so we got a Bill. We got a Magikarp. We got a Dark Gyarados, so... We're probably in good position. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're sorta of in good position. Okay, this is a Pidgey that was just taunting with me earlier. And flying Pikachu has a go. <laughs> it's like I uh, you know, recycle energy and gusting that Magikarp to its doom, but probably not to its doom that badly. All right, so Bill, let's see what we get first. Psychic energy removal. Here we're gonna uh, wait. Is this gonna automatically put it back in his hand? <laughs> I mean, it didn't work when Professor Oak discarded it before. It's like maybe there's a bug associated with recycle energy. I'm kind of curious to try that at the very least, just to stall him. Then we're gonna hit select, check discard pile. Oh, I mean, uh, his discard pile. Yeah, it did go back to his hand. So, <laughs> okay, it's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go plop that on Magikarp, and I think we'll be good. Yeah, assuming that he doesn't have a plus power or something like that, <laughs> we'll see how things go, I think it'll be just fine. And, recycle energy, yes of course. So yeah, that that's energy removal still a good choice, because it's kind of like a stall card. Okay, there's Abra, let's plop that on there, and let's stall using Dark Gyarados. If it's knocked out, you can also do 20 damage as well, so that could end up being a fanciful little move as well, so since, she, since he's only kind of like able to knock out Gyarados after a whole bunch of turns as well, because now I increased the HP, we can uh, do a bunch of stalls while I get a Kadabra or something going. And I'm gonna go actually... Maybe what I should do instead is go for the Jigglypuff Wigglytuff combo. Maybe. Because, he, you know, these colorless Pokemon could be a thing. So I'll use my own and just kind of sweep them. Possibly. But for now, I'll just keep my energy card and... Yeah, we'll see how things go. So he's probably gonna... Yeah, he's gonna go for the quick attack. 
try and go for some extra damage, but it's the coin flips not in his favor this turn. And another got Gyarados. Uh, so I'm gonna plop that on Jigglypuff and finally Professor Oak. Because I wanted to see what was coming, because I was emptying out my hand pretty easily there. And yeah, Jinx, that could be handy. Energy removal for Pidgey. Energy removal for <laughs> Pidgey. <laughs> I might actually just be able to Dark Gyarados attack just fine. Uh, oh, that's right. My bad. <laughs> so that's the Wigglytuff. And done. Uh, so yeah, I think we think we're gonna be in pretty good shape after after the turns kind of go out there, you know. <laughs> so actually, I think I'm gonna go. Maybe I will put. Oh no! Oh, I was gonna say a power up the wig for the Wigglytuff, but it's gonna take multiple turns anyway. But ah, oh, dang, misclick switches. Ah, oh, why did I press down so many times? <laughs> oh, oh, he's still gusting. Okay, so we're actually still good. <laughs> And that Jinx was, uh, yeah, that's one of the wrong energy cards for that Jinx. I mean, yeah, it's got the colorless for the Meditate, but I'm just thinking, I could, can I still use this? And the answer is, yes, I can. <laughs> so, I just gotta focus on only Psychic Energy cards for that Jinx, and yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and Wiggly Tough time. Alright. Let's, uh, sweep, uh, with, uh, setting up a uh, and do the wave. It's not gonna be uh, enough to knock out Pidgey because the, the KO of Gyarados, but that's alright. It's not that big of a deal. The Spearow's getting double colorless of Doom, and Wigglytuff is getting the gust of scratch damage. Uh, like this mirror move. Uh, he might be going for that. Probably going for that. <laughs> because it could do the same amount of damage that do the wave will do on the last turn. <laughs> so it'll do 32, yeah, it'll do 32 wiggly tough. And we'll see if he actually goes for that though. He might not actually be that smart. <laughs> Looks like he is though. Oh, well, he's not that smart! <laughs> Alright, so it's, it's one of those sorts of situations where it's looking like he deserves to lose for that. Because he could have did a pretty good chunk more damage to Spear uh, with Spiro to Wigglytuff. Um, let's see here. So if he's not gonna mirror move, he could just kind of, in theory, attack safely, right? I would think. <laughs> I would think. I don't have a full bench to be able to fully knock it out. Ooh, Moonstone to pull out colorless critters. Uh, but yeah, let's see if he mirror moves for, like, an actual good AI decision. Okay, so why did he use it last turn? I don't know. Maybe he was waiting for me to get some extra oomph to my attacks or something like that. Uh, wait, actually, I should go uh, prepare for a star me. And yeah, I'm gonna do the wave. And wipe out that Spiro. Finally! After a slow start ish. <laughs> you just search. And. Well, it couldn't be any slower than that game. <laughs> the last game. <laughs> uh, just gonna do Gust. And I am going to plop that Avra on the bench to power up the wave. And, 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 and. Get a Starmie going. Uh, I think I'm gonna need it, uh, but I'll wait to use the Psychic Energy. Do the wave, wipe it out for 50, the sweeping is a continuing. <laughs> and, oh, I, I just realized something, Pidgeys won't have uh, Psychic Resistance, they've got Fighting Resistance. So I could use that Cadaver happily against his flying, yeah, yes! <laughs> uh, then I can also do that set up for the future, and Super Saw for the continued sweep! Woo! <laughs> and there's a star here. Okay, Tauros might be a problem, because it's got their actual psychic resistance, but I've got uh, a star Mia coming here, and I get to do a switch. Look at that! 
will flop that out. Gonna do the damage of 20, and then it swaps to the star you, which is gonna be kind of trouble for you. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go first of all. I'm gonna plop this. Wait, actually, no. I'm gonna plop this on the Abra. Evolve the Kadabra. I'm just trying to think through this first. Uh, yeah, you can only do with two energy cards, which will probably get another double colorless, or probably have another double colorless to knock out Staryu. But this would be kind of a waste to use this for. <laughs> you know, I'm going to use that anyway, and just, just for the sake of safety. And... I guess I will Professor Oak. And then we'll hopefully get ourselves a star me for the paralysis. Probably will though, because we're kind of sucking up, yeah, we're in the last bits of our deck here, so. It was only the last, but the last game, everything was on the bottom, dang it. <laughs> um, mm, mm, mm. I wonder if I should plop that magic carp down for the, another dark Caradellus, probably. And Star Freeze! Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm in a pretty good spot. <laughs> because I've got Dark Gyarados, I've got a Tauros that I will can attack with Dark Gyarados after a few turns. Assuming that I'll actually be able to get the energy for it, but yeah. But at the very least, I'll be able to Star Freeze. There we go. Yeah, I think Dark Gyarados requires the three water energy, so. Yeah, we should be okay. And flying Pikachu energy eye and the psychic eye. Let's go to that Kadabra and Star Freeze. Yeah, it looks like he realizes, yeah, Tauros is a goner. <laughs> so I'll just power up the rest of the crit. Oh no, wait, oh that oh you powered up to that other Tauros. Okay. I was gonna say, if you didn't if you powered up that Tauros, this is gonna be kind of an awkward position, but anyway, I'm gonna go wipe out that energy there, and yeah, yeah, I know Flying Pikachu's got, well, Fly, which is going to be an issue to star me, but it's not that big of an issue, because it's not going to do that much damage at a time, if I recall. Wait, actually, no, isn't that going to do 30? Oh yeah, it will, so I actually would be, that might have been a, might have been a bad decision, <laughs> but it didn't knock out, uh, I mean, it wasn't able to hit star me anyway, so maybe it wasn't that bad of a decision, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go for the Star Freeze. Oh, man. And yeah, I'm just kind of working on getting some sort of Pika Pika. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just working on trying to get something that'll knock out that Pikachu. But oh, that might be an issue. Because the Fly will prevent the, all the effects of the damage for the next turn. So we're gonna go plop out this Kadabra. Gonna use it as a... Happy shield. <laughs> That's plop that star you on the bench as well. Yeah, see, I could use Super Psy, but I'm gonna instead use Recover because you know the fly prevents all the effects of damage and whatnot. So, I eh, will be fine. Oh no! Oh, that's actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't really much matter. I was gonna say maybe if you're going for the big Gyarados uh, damage, but yeah, that's actually I win. <laughs> I was gonna say that's actually not gonna work too well in general because you're not taking out my more powerful Pokemon yeah or at least trying to stall out my most powerful Pokemon but I guess I didn't need it anyway <laughs> oh no I lost the match how could I this is not good lost I'll boost it back gimme 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 of the fossil got the paralysis pretty good we got the blizzard may do damage to your own bench Pokemon so 50-50, it could be very good, or kind of bad. <laughs> uh, Magmar... Da -da -da -da. Did we show this? Oh yeah, I think I showed this the, uh, other version of Lickitung before. Yeah, this causes paralysis and may do 10 additional damage with the coin flips. Oh yeah, we got a mysterious fossil! We got <laughs> that means we can battle the other guy right away. But I'm probably just gonna go over and get some Pidgey for the other guy to, my, uh, to the bottom right. So yeah, super yes, yes. <laughs> um, leash life, 
This is a different sort of gold bat I haven't shown before. You can do damage equal. That includes if you use stuff like plus power. So that could be a sneaky little move the opponent wouldn't expect because you got like a extra damage deficit change, I guess you could say. And whoops, no, no, I wanted to go, yeah, nosedive. You may do 40 damage to yourself though. That might be an iffy choice considering 50 HP. Uh-huh. So if you're going to use the gold back, you're probably going to use it for the absorb and maybe using the dive as like a finishing attack. Anyway, let's go ahead and look through the Oh, sure! Now I get another Pikachu! <laughs> look through the rest of these, and we're good. So, you, you've defeated me. You, so you want my approval. You'll need the other cleric's approval to get our coin, though. Once you defeat the other clerics, come speak with me again. And that I will do. But for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I get some Pidgey, I guess. <laughs>